All right. So we have uh, one last slide in this chapter. I think it's been a long day, and I think Karen was a little eager to end, although she did most of the talking in that last video because um, it was mostly a calculator video. And I, honestly, I haven't used the calculator for calculating distributions and stuff in a long time. So it was good that she was gracious enough to talk us through all those. Um, this last slide is all about calculating the mean variance and standard deviation for binomial distributions. Um, so there are slightly different formulas than the things we've seen before. And unfortunately, there's no shortcut in the calculator for calculating them, but the formulas are seriously like the easiest things that you could come up with. Um, so for mean, it's just n times p. So that's the number um, of you know, participants in your trial or the number of times you run an experiment times the probability of a positive, right? And then the variance is going to be just the sigma squared. That's n times p times q. So again, p is the probability of a success. Q is the probability of a failure in any given trial. And n is the number of trials. And then finally, standard deviation is, again, just the square root of your variance. So it's the square root of n times p times q. So let's just do one example. Um, example five, it says an eight-sided die is rolled 560 times. Find the mean, variance, and standard deviation um, of the numbers, the number of sevens that will be rolled. Okay, so we have a die with eight, eight sides. So I'm assuming one through eight is the possibilities. And we're doing it 560 times. So that would be n would be 560. And then we're trying to find x. x would be the number of sevens that will be rolled. So the probability of rolling a seven is one eighth because with an eight sided die, we're assuming it's fair. And so you get a seven one out of eight times. And then Q, of course, is 1 minus that 1 eighth, or 0.875. And so to calculate the mean, all we're going to do is we're going to take 560 times that 0.125, or 1 eighth. And so you get um, about 70. So the mean is 70 times. Um, the variance will be 560 times P times Q. So that's uh, 560 times 0.125 times 0.875. And so when you plug that into a calculator, you'll get 61.25. And then finally, the standard deviation is just going to be the square root of that. So the square root of 61.25 is 7.826. And that's pretty much it for the section. That's a wrap, right? Yes. Now we are done with section 5.3 and chapter 5. Awesome. Thanks, Karen. Yep.